welcome to my channel Rose Red Diamonds and Crafts. This is my March monthly planner. Each month I like to go over my crafts, hobbies, or any other to-dos and plan out my monthly goals, as well as reviewing everything I got done the month before. Going into February, I had probably 60% left to go on my diamond painting, which I was working on Mountain Castle. Um, I did complete it. It is hanging on my wall right now, so I don't have it available to show you right now. Um, I will see if I could insert a picture. And because it took me so long to finish it, and having um, just done uh, Christmas morning in December, which was just as large, Christmas morning only took me three weeks to complete. And... Um, Mountain Castle took me two months. So um, I was considering going into March and just not doing any diamond painting whatsoever. Um, there are so many events going on. And I do own kits in my stash to go with those events. In fact, I purchased kits specifically for those events, not realizing that they all were happening in March. But I just, I felt so burnt out after working on Mountain Castle that um, I really was considering just skipping March completely um, with diamond painting. And then if I really wanted to work on one, then um, maybe I could do a snack size or, or a really small kit. But... As of today, I'm already considering if I feel like doing a diamond painting, which one would I work on? So I really don't know if I'm going to do a diamond painting in March. And if I do which one I will choose, it'll be a surprise. So in February, I decided that I wanted to dye my own fabric for cross stitch. So I did go shopping online and purchase um, an assortment of 14 and 18 count Adas. I bought them in an assortment of sizes. Um, and I also bought an assortment of different colored dyes. Nothing special, just fabric dye. Um, I did not get around to playing with dyeing fabric, but I do hope to get to that soon. Um, because, uh, I purchased some cross stitch patterns that I would like to do on colored fabric. So I will be planning on doing that hopefully this month, if not this month, then next month. So in February, I also purchased, um, everything that I wanted to use to make project bags. Um, I didn't buy fabric because I want to try to use the fabric I already have on hand. And if that doesn't work or I want something else, then I'll just run to the fabric store and get some. But I bought zippers and vinyl and um, I can't think of what they're called. Uh, of, it looks like wax paper that you iron on to thicken up the fabric. Um, I'm drawing a blank on what the, what it's called, but funny story. So, um, having never made project bags before, um, I was trying to decide which size vinyl to buy. And by size, I mean, um, it, they come in gauge for thickness thickness of the vinyl and you don't want it too thin because then it'll tear but obviously the thicker it gets the more expensive it is um, so I found a 16 gauge clear vinyl um, that a few people had left a review saying perfect for project bags so I'm like okay sold I'll get the 16 gauge vinyl um, it is sold by the yard and it's like six or seven bucks for one yard and for that particular one that I was getting it said minimum of two yards no big deal it's always nice to have extra anyways 
Um, and this isn't my first time buying fabric online um, or buying fabric in general. So I, I have a pretty clear understanding of how buying fabric by the yard works. So I bought two yards of 16 gauge clear vinyl and I was really shocked when it arrived. The box that it came in was five feet tall. And I was like, no, that, that can't be for me. And of course, um, my husband and roommates were like, oh, you got more diamond paintings. I'm like, no, I don't have any diamond paintings coming right now. That's not a diamond painting box. That says Amazon. So um, I was like, I have no idea what that is. And then I open it up and I'm like, oh, <laughs> when you I open it up, it's it's the vinyl that's wrapped on a giant um uh, cardboard pull um but it is the full it, it, it's almost five feet wide in this vinyl so uh yeah <laughs> I was that shocked me <laughs> so um let's do let me show you the patterns that I purchased in February Um, I c probably can't show you everything, but I will show you what I can. Okay, so the first thing I purchased uh, from Etsy is this Aquarius from Cross Stitch Foxy. Um, I figured it's something simple. Uh, I could do it all in one color or, you know, however I want. But I am Aquarius, and I thought this would be a nice, simple, uh, fast project. Okay, so I had a little trouble looking for this one. Um, I had to end up getting on my phone uh, to pull up the image. For some reason, I couldn't find it on the tablet when I searched it up. Said the seller didn't exist, but I got this cross stitch of the, the witcher and since I have my phone out I might as well just keep using my phone and I got this image from the witchy stitcher who also has um, their own website too if you wanted to purchase from them from the official website instead of purchasing from Etsy um, and I think I purchased one more pattern from Etsy. Um, a lot of people are doing converted stitch, uh, cross stitch into diamond painting. Um, and the most popular thing that they're doing that with is the princess panels from Mandy Manzano. Uh, per, this is from Creatively Crafting. But I am obviously Peter Pan is not a princess, but I'm going to attempt this as a cross stitch pattern. So um, I did purchase that last month. So um, another pattern I acquired in February was the peppermint purples 2022 stitch along um you could um request uh to you could request to join the stitch along and you're given um one of two options for a pattern layout and then there's also a, a companion pack that cost um, I think it's like six dollars uh, and it gives you a few more layouts but I haven't started this pattern yet um, I did request it early February um, so from what I can understand um, it is fully customizable to you um, it besides there being multiple layouts for you to choose from 
Um, they give you two uh, color options, but of course you could use whichever color options work for your des your desire. Um, I've seen people using uh, bright colors uh, with a black Ada. It's all customizable to you. It also looks like each week when they the because they give out the patterns weekly. Um, it looks like each week they also give you two different options to choose from. So you could use this design or this design um, for said rectangle. Because um, if you're not familiar with uh, Peppermint Purple, it to me it looks like a quilt. Um, so uh, they, it's, they only do black work. Which um, when I think of black work, I think of black floss but black work is um just back stitching um but it's uh, and then they also do specialty stitches too um and i think that that's one of the things you could choose the basic back uh back stitch or one with specialty stitches but um yeah <laughs> sorry if i'm not explaining that well but i did um I, I did join the the free part of that cell and I will get around to it but I won't be starting it right now um, so something else that I plan on doing uh, sooner than later uh, is when I purchased all this floss for this is my this is my floss monster oops so this is my floss monster from for the Pokemon cross stitch that I'm working on um that's 105 colors and I had to purchase it in um, a I didn't have any floss I'm new to cross stitch uh, so the cheapest option for me was to, I purchased a bag of 447 colors from Amazon um, which I just purchased uh, another bag a second bag and um, two things I purchased a second bag one because the Pokemon sale uh, one skein one skein skein one skein of each color is not going to be enough for that Pokemon project um, I will need more skeins of specific colors I don't know which colors need more just yet and I'm not low on anything just yet either but um, so I do need to have some colors for that second thing this is what the bag looks like I have not opened it yet because I wanted to show you and uh, this bag came like this in a, a, a very large box I thought was funny but so this is the bag of floss um, so some of these colors will be filling in for some of those when I run out but also I have the Peter Pan and um, yeah I want to get into cross stitch so for now I'm going to start with this uh, this cheaper option and then later on I will start investing in some nicer floss but when I went through the floss when I went through all of this to decide what colors I needed for the Pokemon it was very stressful um, I had to print out the DMC list that the pattern required and I had to Google search each DMC color and some of those colors were look like they could go either way um, so I had to guess which color it actually needed to be. Um, actually, I think 
Okay, here's a good example. So 165, when I looked it up, it sounded like it needed to be this shade of green, but when I got out the pattern, the image where it, it, that color would go did not look right. And what I actually needed was this very, this paler color, yellow. So, and I just haven't gotten around to taking this off yet, but yeah. So it was very stressful, but I felt confident when I was starting that I got all the colors correct. But as I come across the pattern, I might have to make adjustments when needed. So long story short, I bought this DMC chart that has all the colors. Yeah. Oops. Problem is this out. I really wanted the one that came with the floss on it. And when I bought it, if you could see, it's got floss printed on the pages. And yeah, I got fooled. I thought it was actually had the floss on it. So, but I'm going to go through this bag of non-DMC thread and match up as much as I can uh, to the pictures or the um, colors on the chart. And then hopefully I could have a rough idea of which color. Like, this is a big difference <laughs> in color, okay? In fact, what does the DMC say for 165? Let's just look. This may take a second. Okay. So on this, 165 shows it like Am I, am I going too far? Okay, 165 is this shade right here. Which I suppose it actually kind of looks like it's right in between. I, I, you probably can't see very well in this lighting. And um, it's very cloudy today. And I do have a lamp on to try to help with the color or with the brightness. But yeah, so this color to me looks like it's in between these two colors. And I probably still would have reached for this color as it match or as a match. So, yeah. That's why I really wanted the one with the actual floss. But I also heard that the um, if you could find it, that that one that it's hard to find, um, the actual card with the floss on it. Um, but not only is it hard to find, but it's a lot more expensive. So uh, this one was under 10 bucks. So I guess you get what you pay for. So let's talk cross stitch patterns actually worked on so here is my pokemon um i did end up if you watched my last video i was complaining about tension and although that's still kind of an issue um i did change it from rolled outwards whatever <laughs> i did change the way the i i, I took it all off Actually, I cut the edges and um, I cut the edges because it was kind of folded over. So I thought that might have been an issue. Um, and uh, and then I re-rolled it in the opposite direction. So I did finish um, the page that I was working on right here. Um, so... Yeah, so I said um, this crease right here 
from the fabric this fabric's crease i just wanted to fill in that that was all my goal was for february for for this pattern because i wanted so much other things that i wanted to get done that i uh didn't want to spend too much time on this pattern and i didn't end up getting around to any of those other things that i wanted to do because it was just a low motivation month um I got, I, I think I, I worked on this cross stitch in the first week and a half of, I think I only worked on this for the first week of February, maybe for the first week and a half. But other after that, um, I just lost my interest to craft um, cross stitch and diamond painting. Now I did say I, I did finish my diamond painting, but it just... I didn't have a lot of motivation to to work on anything um, so something that was not part of my plan for February was to work on my cryptids but I did finish it so all I had left to do going into February was this cryptid right here I chose Bigfoot because he's my favorite when they released the final drop for this pattern bigfoot was dropped with two other cryptids as well as um, the cone of doom uh, which the cone of doom fit with the theme but it was too large to fit in that last spot so i considered um, adding those other three patterns along this side right here or um, just putting them some, um, on a separate piece of fabric altogether. I don't know, but for now, I'm just going to put it aside. And then for now, it's done. I'm complete. I'm done. I don't have to work on this anymore. It is complete. Um, I don't. I will frame it eventually, so it's not a fully finished project. But for it's good enough. It's done. And because uh, I don't feel like doing the other images yet but I have them saved if I decide to do them oops bump the computer or I'm sorry bump the camera I have the images saved if I decide to come back to this project later on but for now I'm happy with the way it is and it's done Now I'm going to discuss some goals and plans that are not um, crafting related. So gaming, um, I always play Fortnite. Um, I play it at least once a week with my husband. Um, and the new season will be starting in a couple weeks. So um, we're in the final stretch of this season. Because the seasons, uh, as soon as one ends, the very next day, the next one starts. So I did reach 100, uh, or I did exceed level 100. Um, the free items will stop at 200. So um, I am trying to get there. But I never consider Fortnite as a goal. Um, so I really wanted to play an RPG. It's been a while since i've really invested the time in an rpg i also considered um instead of an rpg maybe working on a visual novel and that's what i ended up doing is i played a game called sakura succubus it's a visual novel but i wasn't prepared for it to be so short and by short i mean i was done with it in one night oh uh, there was there's different degrees of, um, there's, I don't know how to explain this. There's different degrees when it comes to a visual novel. Sometimes there's several different endings, um, uh, based off of your choices. Um, there, it is from my experience, a lot of the visual novels will go 
quite a long, well, there will be a big time of just story going on before it gives you the option to make a choice. But it seemed like this particular game, regardless of what you chose, the story wasn't going to change. Um, it, it just would, it's, it seemed like just your, what you chose would just ha would affect, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. Your choice appeared to only affect how the other person would res would respond to you. Um, how they would, they would react to what you chose but it wouldn't it didn't change the story. So um, there are a few different volumes of that story. So I'm not against playing the other ones. I do own the second one. So, and I guess it's good to know it's, I guess you could think of it as a snack size game. It's, it's only going to take a few hours, um, four to six hours, depending on your reading speed. So, um, so there's that. That's all I got done gaming wise, uh, for March. I still want to do the RPG. I did install Horizon and, uh, all the updates for Valhalla since I played that last. Um, as I said in a previous video, I finished Valhalla, the story mode. That's, um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I finished the story mode for that and I put the game away, um, intending not to touch the DLC, but I really love Assassin's Creed and I feel like I want to play it. So, um, I updated the game on my console and installed all the DLC for that. So, um, either Horizon and or, um, Valhalla, I will probably be playing this month which is another reason why I considered not spending so much time on diamond painting and or on cross stitch. And I just realized, speaking of cross stitch, I showed you what I did, but I didn't tell you what my plan was. I expect to just work on the next page of that Pokemon cross stitch um and not ex as same as last month i don't want to work on more than the next page because i really want to uh acquire i want to um make time to dye the fabric so that i could work on one of my newer or uh, new patterns um not uh, uh I don't want to have a bunch of patterns open I don't want to have a, a bunch of whips but I do want um an assortment to choose from uh, different styles different color themes I'd like to have an assortment to choose from depending on what kind of mood I'm in and Next reading, I had not intended to read in February, but because the month was almost over and I have a thing about starting something at the end of the month, like if I have a goal, I want it done before the month is over or the week. I also set weekly goals. Um, so I, I try not to start anything if I think I can't finish it either before the week is over or before the month is over. But uh, I did start reading book number 23 of the Hanson Swenson series. Um, that's the series that uh, I mentioned before in a previous video that I'm trying to get caught up on. She just released um, the newest book in February. I thought, oh, I have X amount of days left in the month. I could finish it. But I ended up only reading it first thing in the morning for a couple of hours for two days. Um, and then I didn't pick it up again. But I did get, and when I say for two uh, in the morning, I don't mean just, 
I think I read for two hours on day two, but I think I got like four hours in the first day. So I read for about six hours. I got halfway through the book. So not putting too much pressure on myself. I just want to finish the other half of that book before March is over. So um, I won't push myself into starting book 24. Um, speaking of books, this book right here. This was a birthday present from my, um, I was going to say my youngest. He was my youngest until the baby was born. So my 15 year old bought me this book for, as a birthday present because February was my birthday month. So just a shout out for that. Let's talk fitness. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the right term or not, but so. In January I had a goal of 20 miles for the month now when I'm in really good in a really good space 20 miles it and when I say 20 miles I mean 20 designated miles um, is really great uh, I, I could do that in a week but but the way my life is right now um, 20 miles in a month is where I'm at so I have a Fitbit and uh, when I'm getting ready to work on an activity um, I write down what I write down what my uh, watch says it's currently at and then I do the said activity and when I'm done I write that number down and then I subtract what my number was previously and then I know how much I spent on said activity that's how I do it. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, what was I getting at? Okay. So in January, um, I went through, I got sick. I was sick at the beginning of January. Like a lot of people were, I ended up having to take my watch off because, um, I went through a, a phase where I couldn't find the right notch. It was either too tight or it was too loose and I just was getting agitated with it so I took it off and then I didn't put it back on for a month so I did not bother with my goal for January and I didn't I definitely didn't bother messing with it in February so I did put my watch back on late February uh, because when you're a child uh, in, in elementary school, they, they teach you about putting a piece of string around your finger and that's to remind you to do something. Well, that's how I feel about my watch. I keep it on to remind me, am I drinking my water? Am I taking my vitamins? Am I eating breakfast? Am I snacking properly? Um, are those healthy snacks? Am I overindulging, etc., etc. Those are the things that go on in my mind uh, when I have my watch on. And and let's be honest, I think about that stuff even when my watch is off, but uh, I feel I feel more what's the word? I can't think. Um but long pause. So I put my watch back on late February and um, I set the goal for March 20 designated miles. Uh, I did start working on designated miles in February even though I knew that um, it was tough for me. I knew that I wasn't going to reach the 20 miles before February was over but I was making smart choices and did it anyways because because it's smart. <laughs> I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I probably could put my child in a stroller and go out of the house, but I hate leaving the house uh, for personal reasons um and 
yeah we'll leave it at that I, for personal reasons i don't like to leave the house so i do have a treadmill i do own a very nice treadmill however it's in the garage and between because of other people in the house um i don't have access to said treadmill um so it is not enjoyable to go in the garage uh, I really need a clean space otherwise um, I get my anxiety rises so I try to avoid the garage so I don't like to go in the garage I don't like to leave my house what do I do to get active so for me right now the way I stay active is uh, I play Beat Saber <laughs> Beat Saber is a VR game on the PlayStation, but it's also available on an Oculus, which I know they just changed the name of it, but I know it as an Oculus and I can't think of what the new name is. I, it starts with an M, but you probably are familiar with an Oculus as well. So that's the one that's owned by Facebook. So. It's a VR game, Beat Saber. If you're not familiar, you are swinging lightsabers. <laughs> With your, you're going to be swinging lightsabers to music notes. And I do it like it's a workout. And I am sore the next day. Um, I know how to move smartly so I don't injure myself but um it does work up my for example my fitbit acknowledges that i'm working uh, i'm working out it knows that i'm doing cardio it gives me active minutes okay you're working up a sweat um and it also there are walls so you have to step from side to side and or and sometimes you have to duck so you got to squat and sometimes you have to s squat down for a while, depending on the song. Some songs don't have those. And if you're somebody who just wants to, s to swing and listen to the music and you don't want to do all of the um, ducking and sidestepping, you can disable the walls. It is uh, an option. But uh, I know certain songs are more physical than others. And so I never start, <clears throat> I never start with those harder ones right off the bat. Um, I will try to end my workout with those after I've loosened up, <clears throat> sorry, after I've loosened up some, um, warmed up, I should say, after I've warmed up a bit, um, then I'll do those. So when I do spend the time i'm not sure how long it takes me um i don't know how long it takes me to uh play time wise um but i'm if you play beat saber i'm at the point where i could play hard <laughs> i could play it on hard um and and there's also uh the expert Okay, so there's there's um, easy or beginner. I can't think of which term they use. Easy, normal, hard, and expert. So there's four different modes. When I started playing, I started on easy till I got to understand how to play. Um, and then so I warm up on normal. I'm at this point where I warm up on normal uh, for a song or two if it's been a while since I played. Like when I say a little while, I mean like a couple months. Um, and then I play most of the game on hard and then um, I'll check my watch. And if I feel like it's moving kind of slow, then I will try some songs that I'm really good at on expert. And um, And if I want to try out a song, if I want to try out a song on expert that I've never done before, I will turn off no fail. It's an option 
you could turn off no fail and no matter how bad you are at the at the um hitting the notes the song will keep going so um just like if you used to play guitar hero when if you miss too many notes the song would end and you have to start it all over again that is that bugs me <laughs> and my 15 year old will do that he likes to play songs on expert he'll get like a minute in and then he'll fail miserably and then he'll keep replaying it and replaying it and replaying it and it drives me nuts i just want to hear the song so um i was gonna say that's all but so i'm uh for my miles if i could reach my my goal for march um, I will have finished the Cinderella race. That is, um, a yes fit race. Um, I started the Cinderella race last month in February when I did start the, um, the few miles that I got through. I think I got like six miles done last month. Uh, like I said, I put it on late in February. <clears throat> And then this whole last week, I haven't gotten around to um, any uh, beats. I haven't gotten to play Beat Saber this week. So I got like six designated miles in in the third week of February. Um, I think the last thing I'm going to talk about today is puzzles. Um, before I got into diamond painting, I... Before, yeah, before getting into diamond painting, I used to do puzzles. Um, I I had, just like people do with diamond paintings and they build a stash, I have been building a stash of puzzles for years to where when 2020 occurred and everybody decided they wanted puzzles, I was already stocked. So, um, in 2019 and 2020, um, I, I had taken a break from puzzles for a while and I was just stuck, but I was still stocking them, um, st or I was still building a stash whenever I came across something that I liked, but it wasn't until 2019 and 2020 when I decided to start working on my stash. So, uh, but... I was pacing myself just like I do with everything else and I was only allowing myself one or two puzzles a month depending on um, how many pieces are in the puzzle. So if it was less than a hundred pieces, so say it was a 500 or a 750 piece, then I would allow myself to do two puzzles that month. But if it was a thousand or more, then I only was doing one puzzle a month. So I would try to do them based on either my mood or what was going on that month. Uh, but since I started diamond painting, I haven't touched puzzles. Um, I do follow Karen Puzzles, who's a YouTuber um, who does puzzles. And I know that sounds silly to some people because I thought it was sounded ridiculous. And she's a very peppy person and I'm not a peppy person, even if I, I, I don't know if I come off as peppy or not, but she's a very peppy person and I usually don't like that. <laughs> it, it usually doesn't draw me in. Um, but I love her. <laughs> well, I'm saying all these negative things. I love Karen puzzles. Um, she's adorable and, um, she this month in february she decided to start doing um a nine thousand piece minions puzzle and when i see somebody do something it makes me want to do it so if i'm watching a whip and chat i want a diamond paint if i'm watching floss tube i want to work on a cross stitch if i'm watching karen puzzles then i want to do a puzzle <laughs> so i think i'm going to do a puzzle this month and if I do, because it's not 100% guaranteed, if I do, I'm going to do one of two puzzles. Either, I got, I got them. Either I will work on this San Francisco trolley, thousand piece. I live in California. 
I've spent nights in San Francisco. Or I'm going to work on camera or I'll work on this piece, which is a stitch in time. Um, funny thing is, is I've owned this for a while. <laughs> I, I, I bought this. I bought this before I started diamond painting and uh, heaven and earth designs. I think they're, um, they use this artist as um the, in their logo i think it is i got or their banner or something they use this artist if you made it through my entire spiel thank you for watching um i have i am looking for advice on whether or not i should change the name of this vlog um it's I, I don't know if there's anything other category that all of this can go into. Um, the closest thing this reminds me to, of is a floss tube. Um, but obviously I talk about other things besides floss and, and stuff. So, and it's not just crafting, it's also hobbies and interests. So... I'm just been considering if I shouldn't call it something else. So if you have any advice, please leave it in a comment below. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.